No, I'm tense, guys. I'm tense. These are junky cards. But there's just... Just enough of a chance. I'm gonna take it. I don't know if I've ever... Well, we'll see. I don't know if I've ever been able to win Lamentus with this weak of a hand. Leech me? My friends, a deck where you can win just by passing. Oh yes, and that is, if you can tell, an infinite bordered avatar. Freshly won for this deck just today on stream. It is looking fine, it is looking fantastic, and it is loving the brand new Wave Doctor Doom meta that we are swimming in. This is the She-Hulk Infinite Pass deck. It is so satisfying to be able to put together your classic line of play is setting up magic to get the limbo down. Play Leech on 5 to remove the opponent's ability to cancel Limbo, so you can full pass on turn 6. Put all of the energy you need into your engines on Sunspot, Misty Knight, Cyclops, Hulk gaining power in hand, She-Hulk discounting herself also in hand, and then on turn 7 you drop the massive Hulk, you drop the She-Hulk alongside, still only 6 energy, with on turn 7 you pass 1, activate all the engines once again, and you just blow the opponent away from there. With Dr. Dr. Doom, we have a more flexible endgame, being able to limit where our opponent is playing with a wave, drop the Dr. Doom, land the Doom bots, blanket of oppression for them to deal with. We can Dr. Doom and She-Hulk if we haven't drawn our Hulk, or if Hulk is only a 12 power, say we drew him later on in the game. We can also full pass on turn 4 to be able to play Wave plus She-Hulk together on turn 5, and you just find more and more combos to be able to unlock here. Let's dive into our highlights. We love this opening hand, and worth calling out if the meta is still incredibly destroy focused because of the weekend missions. This deck is lights out versus destroy. You just absolutely decimate them. Rocking the Cosmo and the Leech. There are versions where you can squeeze in armor as well to be able to guarantee that little bit of extra protection for all your high powered one cost. But I was finding that Killmonger is in a bit of a lull in terms of play right now. It's, it's still very easy to flex around a couple spaces here to be able to find uh, your meta reads. I'm going to play Cyclops. Look for an opportunity for the Cosmo. Not sure exactly where it's going to be. Collector Hawkeye Bishop. Are you some kind of... Um, what are you going to be? What are you going to do? Hood, you're bounce. You are actually bounce. Okay, pick them all up, buff the collector. They're going to love the lake being bounce, but I don't think they're actually going to love limbo. Can I get away with a Cosmo protection or do I have to go leech? We don't find leech. So I think I have to Cosmo. I will still pass rather than play Jeff. So Jeff represents three power, right? Passing represents one ping from Cyclops right now, one more from the Misty Knight, and then two on the Hulk. So it's a little bit better to pass, and then if they play another card, it is yet one point better. Yeah, roll me. Does this version of Bounce run a location I fixer? Iron Man. Iron Man. It's going to try something. Why would you... How would you play Iron Man versus Cyclops? That is absolutely the worst matchup you could imagine. Now, in a little bit of a conundrum, I can play the Sunspot. The Sunspot would be able to gain 5 power. It would still pass enough energy on She-Hulk to make her free and playable alongside Hulk on the final turn. But then I'm not passing any energy on the final turn. I could play Sunspot and She-Hulk now. That might be the answer. Do this, and then just play Hulk, or just play Doctor Doom. It was all coming together. All right, getting Hulk in the opening hand is really important for him to be able to stack up throughout the game. And Sakaar is um, an amazing location for us. Anything pulling cards to the board for free is fantastic, because we're usually loaded up. If they pull the high Evo, they pull the, they pull the high Evo. Well, oh, Modoc, this is really early. I think that's good for them, though. Apoc, Lady Sif, Abs. Okay, okay. 
And I think that's still pretty good for them. Mm, super flow. Dangerous. I want... Do I actually want magic? I don't need magic. Magic would mean that the vault would open back up. And then super flow. Maybe we just cancel super flow. Something in here. All the discards are going to be guaranteed. Guaranteed on the APOC with only one card in hand. It's kind of a dream for discard. Just to be able to roll a Colleen Wing discarding the Apocalypse. Wave. Wave. Uh, if I wave, then he could just outright play the Apocalypse. I kind of want to play a Leech to make him then discard and lose out on the APOC. Mm, he probably has time to be able to play it. He'll see it coming. So should I just wave? Like, if he plays APOC now, I can get the Hulk in to answer. I guess I will. Just put a little more power. They go Nebula. All right, we'll try and play and stop her. Let's see what else we can get playing here. Hmm, Cyclops. I wanted you to the board. I don't know. Leech. I think I'm actually going to play Cyclops. Against Nebula. No, over here on the left. Or you're guaranteed to have the two targets. The opponent just full passes. They've got nothing they want to play right now. They want to hold on to the APOC then. Interesting. So what else are you holding? Why wouldn't you want to play one of those cards? So here, I can She-Hulk. And then... I'll be able to Hulk, or I will be able to Doctor Doom and still pass an extra energy. Feeling pretty good on this one. Without Sunspot, I didn't want a full pass. Yeah, so we match 9 for 9. Now you're holding the Giant Apocalypse. And some other cards. Admittedly, and some other cards. If I throw Hulk, I win by a lot. And then Cyclops activates... If they have a discard effect, they get me? What if I Doctor Doom? I'm not passing them on mid is the problem, but I'm looking pretty good on right. Really good on left. I think it's actually a Hulk here. Let the pass roll. Dracula eats. Their guess was that I was going to go real hard on the vault. And there's the Apoc Chow. But Hulk's just not... <laughs> you can't pass it, man. Victory. Nah, so they do have the loot cage. I anticipated this. We should be able to still overpower them. I've got the She-Hulk already. Great thing about C5s is I know they're not packing any kind of control. So I'll drop She-Hulk here. You just have to be able to pass you at two locations. The loot cage, not ever... Never going to be able to grab the Cerebro buff, so he's always going to be a, a weak Wind piece here. I'm going to storm it out. Storm in C5s? What are you doing, man? What is this? I could magic. I can get Dr. Doom in here later. That's pretty good. You can get Silk over, I guess. Is that what you are relying upon? Most likely. Silk edition later. It will be good. It will not be great. That would never cancel Titan. I should cancel Camp Lehigh. Mm, sure. It does commit me to the Doctor Doom play, but we'll go for it. Is this that wrong? To defend? It is. Uh, I'm impressed. Wow, so you win on flooding. Look at that. Dr. Doom, Hulk, Leech. You Leech? If I can catch out Cerebro, Mysterio, Mystique, Cerebro, Mystique, your own Dr. Doom. I knew it. Got him. Got him, and they had no chance. They, they never saw it coming. 
All right, we land our Dr. Doom. I think the opponent just wants for this to be over. He understands he's winning on the one lane. Do you have a way to cancel Limbo? I was not expecting Storm, so they could be packing some other surprises. But normally C5s does not have any location fixers, nor does it have any control cards. It makes it pretty challenging to be competitive. There he is, you top. Top deck the Cerebro, are you kidding me? You've gotta be kidding me, right? What is this? Hulk should still be able to carry. The one point on the sunspot doesn't really hit any important breaking points. You add one more. 28? I'll be at... Hang on, hang on. 28 just too much? Hulk is adding 18 to 26. 27? And then a Misty Knight buff? Not actually enough? That's wild. No, because the Hulk then scales plus two. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, we got it. Well, there's nothing. Spider-Man. Spider-Man reposition. Don't move Hulk. Moves the Doctor Doom. That should be fine. Totally fine. It was... It was never in doubt. Never in doubt. <laughs> okay, what do we have this time through? Getting Misty Knight Sunspot is... Probably the best opening that we can look for. And Jeff to land on the Sanctum with Dr. Doom's assistance as well. That puts you up to eight, which will tie vision. Never mind, we will not be able to play any kind of Dr. Doom. Spider Ham loves a meta where there are really powerful six costs that people are wanting to run. Uh, I think I just always just play Jeff over here now. Especially with Doom pigged out. Sure. Oh no! Oh no! With the pressure on. Yeah, especially with Hulk here. Like this. Now the Jeff will lose to the opposing Doctor Doom. That's fine. Unless Misty Knight buffs him all the way to a 5. She could do it. She has the possibility. They're still rolling Lockjaw Wasp. I think they have a chance. It's a ye old evolved Lockjaw. Everyone moves magic. I'm okay with this. And there's the buff on the Jeff. One more and we stay, stay nice and tight. Okay, so it's definitely Cyclops where he has two targets. Nice and tight with that Doom bot. Mjolnir just to be a free card in cycle. No target to buff for him, unfortunately. And then a invisible wasp because the lockjaw bugs. Uh, they draw both on back. Cyclops activates. Pow pow. Hmm. It's too good. It's it's just too good to be true. Oh, roll me. Magneto tries to reposition a lot. Ho ho ho. Oh, rain him back in, Cyclops. Come on, buddy. Old buddy, old pal. Drop the Hulk, drop the She-Hulk. 20 to 28 to 4. And I'm still passing in energy. Because he takes steps. This is gold too. I call the Mjolnir. I guess maybe he knows Infinite's in the deck. He knows Dr. Doom was in the deck. Mm. You got me. You got me. I don't have anything that I want to sacrifice. There goes a leech. Body blocking the shield. I'm fine with this. Master building. Cyclops me. If we can win there, win Atlantis. I don't really want to touch Vormir. I could put Jeff over there, which would represent six points if we're winning Baxter building. So maybe that's a point of pressure. But we'll see. Looking for the Thor. So you hit Thor on three, which is certainly what you want. Hmm. 
I can wave. Roll. Wave into. Hulk into. Whatever finisher. If we get Dr. Doom, we have another way to be able to get into Vormir. So, that's probably what we're doing. Just never try to directly play into Vormir. Do you want to mess with Baxter building? You do not. Lockjaw to the Wasp. She cycles. Jane picks them up, but you can only play one card right now. Which is good, because it gives them a harder time to get them to recycle around. Mm, you flip first here, though. Unfortunately for me, you do flip first here. I think it's a landing Hulk on left. I'll just let Thor go. You've got that one. Oh. Why wouldn't you want Doctor Doom to cycle? I feel like the play is always let Doctor Doom cycle around. They just didn't want to fill that final space because they had a, another free card coming. I guess. I guess that had to be what it is. Play the She-Hulk. Move the Jeff. The Hulk will buff, and then I'm getting the extra three when I win Baxter building. Uh -huh. Yeah, hit me. Hit me, but don't snap me. This one's been tight. It's been pretty cagey. I don't think I can snap. You have the Mag- I beat the Magneto. Magneto is actually great because it would reposition the wave if he plays Magneto to Baxter building. Um, if he plays Hulk of his own to Baxter building, does that stop me? It depends on when he drew the Hulk. He's as big as mine or less. Also over here, what are we looking at? 18, 19, 20. He could just high roll a great card off the lockjaw and beat me, right? That's certainly within the realm of possibility. Are you roping into a snap? You are roping into a snap. I will accept. Yeah. I think we're okay. So it's all on left. The Baxter building was a bait. Turns out it's Magneto. I received Cyclops. The 30. To me. I'm gonna gain a 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. I'll be two points down. Yeah. Unfortunate. If I'd left the Jeff. Yeah. Oh, but you get the Doctor Doom reactivated. That's why you left the Doctor Doom, so you could reactivate with the Odin. Makes sense. Still got him. How did that... Something had not added? They didn't add my Cyclops to the power when I was, when I was talking it through? We won by one. Yes, I believe Magneto moved the Cyclops and it did not immediately update. And then I was like, oh, we'll be behind. We were totally fine. Who are we squaring off against here? Let's go, Jeff. With the flexibility to move mid, of course. Cyclops to pop him. I think I'll play Magic first and then assess where the best position for Cyclops is. We've got Leech and Cosmo to be able to protect a Limbo. And a bunch of squirrels. Okay. Magic me. Leave the effective mid, please. Um, I think I still just play Cyclops and let the pass play out. I'm gonna play a Leech on five. What am I gonna fit Misty Knight in? We've got the Gabo. You Galactus. Don't, don't, just don't be Galactus, okay, man? Just don't. You can't. You have all the squirrels. It doesn't really work for you. Not the right vibe for you. We'll play this. Sure, we. Really. They are. They're like the Galactus trick deck. Uh, I love this one. Um, how good is Leech for us here? Could be kind of funny. They also maybe run Destroyer, so... I'll just kind of play into that. 
Mm. I don't know. Yeah, I'll still leech. Maybe we can take out a Taskmaster. Nimmy? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Leech got him. Sorry. No ability activations for you today. Play Misty. Play... I want to move you. And then I want to be able to play She-Hulk plus whatever I top deck. Hoping to be able to top deck the Hulk. If it's not Hulk, we are in trouble. I could... Cosmo over here, but it is admitting defeat. Uh, admittedly, I'm, I'm defeated either way, so I'll go ahead and Cosmo. Just not letting them destroy Nimrod. By the best case, they go Wolverine. Yeah, you're looking a little bit behind there on all these locations, bub. Jeff moves as She-Hulk lands. Cyclops will activate. Cosmo is still going to guard dog the Nimrod. And we get the dub. Destroy uh, cannot stand up against this combo. Ooh, the Mentis could be really good for them if they have the Null. Wow. Okay. Okay. I'm gonna try. They have the Leech. He's snapping because he's like, oh, I'm Destroy, I have uh, Null. You're not gonna have Null to be able to play if I have anything to say about it. So now I pass. I want to play off curve as much as possible. Go into Leech to take away all their abilities. Break their death as well. Bucky. Fair enough, fair enough. Oh, I'm tense, guys. I'm tense. These are junky cards. But there's just... Just enough of a chance. I'm gonna take it. Play this. What's this? Green Gabo. Alright, I hate that. I mean, I have to, like, my magic here? If I'm going to magic, I have to magic here. Otherwise, it's Cyclops in the Leech and then nothing on... Well, it's, it's a high Evo and move Jeff pass on Sunspot. I feel like with the Sunspot, the number of cards that we each have, we could, could just like magic here. Let's do it. Hit me. You play nothing? Why are you playing nothing? I don't know if I've ever... Well, we'll see. I don't know if I've ever been able to win Lamentus with this weak of a hand. Leech me? Got their whole hand. Nah, they're a nobody. They got nothing. No activations for the rest of the dang game. Uh, Cyclops... Three cards remain. How antsy am I about what the rest of this is going to look like? I don't know. I don't know if I can snap, man. I want to. But their base powers might still be able to, to trick me out. If you have... Uh, well, let's see. The Destroyer would be, would be a great one. Destroyer would be a great trick to pull. I cannot pass that. I have no chance to pass that. Wow. What else do you have in there? Sunspot's going up by three. It'll be seven, eight points ahead on right. And it will be four, seven points ahead on mid. They have two cards. They've hung with this this far. Guess I'm glad I didn't invest anything farther into 
Lamentis. This is about as even a spread as I can possibly make. I could move the Jeff and play Hyevo on, on left instead. It's, it's so close. I'll lay it out. One card, what is it? Oh, my gosh. So here is the deck in all of its passing power generating glory. Once again, infinite certified, fresh infinite win for the Team Teddy right here. I love the different combos that it has. It feels like it doesn't really have any bad matchups. Even though you're not running control yourself, you're running so much protection and then so much raw power generation that it's just impossible for the opponent to be able to keep up with you as long as you are hitting your combos. And then the learning curve is being able to figure out when you have enough of your combos landing to be able to snap and really put the pressure onto them. This, the sheer moment of dread that the opponent feels when you full pass on one of those final turns and they're just calculating how much extra you're going to be able to slam on the board. Being on the other side of it, I know that it is incredibly intimidating. And if you guys pick this deck up, I hope it earns you many cubes on your climb up to infinite. Until next time, thank you guys for watching. Keep on snapping.